What is up everybody? This is Easy History Game and bring you another Brutal Age video. This is on the Red Cobalt. Last of the two stars. We're working on the war patterns. Doing a, a video on every one of the partners in Brutal Age. Working from the bottom up. Last two star right here. It also becomes a six star with a third awakening. So it, it gets fairly beefed up. Uh, the Legion skills are Inspire. And I want to get into the Legion skills a little more with this video. We touched on a little last video. Uh, what are Legion skills? It's uh, when a player, it's when in a player versus player battle, attacking or defending of your outpost, your partners will battle their partners, and winning partners will add their Legion skills to the army battle calculations. I know it's a little confusing. Uh, so each surviving partner will boost morale for your army or lower morale for the enemy army. As soon as the partners are done with their battle, the two armies begin their battle with the adjustments in morale that originates from the results of the partner battle. Complicated? Maybe. <laughs> Red Cobalt, we'll get into him first. We got some more on the Legion skills coming up. Uh, his, his first skill is called Sharp Claws. It's a single target attack. It has a 50% chance to reduce the action bar. And whenever you're talking about reducing the action bar, remember the action bar is dictated by speed. The higher the speed, the faster your action bar recovers. So to reduce the action bar by 25% is kind of like taking a hit to the speed. Second skill is called Raise the Dust. This is his group attack. It's also a group debuff. It's also based on its self max hit point. So remember that the first attack is also for all of them. They all have the same first attack. It's also based on its own max hit point. So that kind of gives us a, a hint as to what kind of war patterns we're going to use and where we're going to go with the war patterns. So at six star, and I know it might be a stretch to bring Cobalt to six star, especially in all three colors, but for red, his hit points are at 5,355, and that's basic hit points. Remember, that will go up with the buffs that you get in the war patterns. At third awakening, he gets the skill Howl. Howl has a 70% chance to taunt. And what taunt means is that uh, it, will, it will force the enemy, if the taunt is successful, it will force the enemy to attack the Cobalt instead of the lowest uh, hit point player or, or partner. So pretty big skill. It also has a couple buffs with it. So moving on to Blue Cobalt. Probably one of the best ones. Uh, best attribute is defense. Starts off at 108. It gets much higher than that. Uh, hit points starts off at uh, 1,188. Got the leader skill of the plus 15% hit point. All colors, not just blue. So that's pretty good. Uh, Legion skills. Let's get into the Legion skills a little more. Now, for blue, he does the 20% buff on the morale for Shaman. But uh, we got a continuation from before. To, to explain the, the morale adjustments a little more, during an attack or defense of your outpost, the partners clash first, and the surviving members of the winning team have their Legion skills added to the army stats. If only two partners survive, then only those two Legion skills will take effect. And remember, each color partner only affects uh, one specific type of troop. Uh, why would you want to buff your your army's morale and not debuff the enemy and it's kind of it's kind of simple you have to debuff one specific troop and you can't really guess which troop it's going to be that they're going to attack with they may attack with all three but they might attack with all warrior and you're trying to debuff the beastmaster so i'm always thinking that you want to buff your army instead of debuff the other i could be dead wrong on that <laughs> so first skill on blue same as the others it's got sharp claw which is a single target attack 50 percent chance to reduce the action bar by 25 percent and which that's kind of reducing the speed because the action bar is a representation of the speed. Second skill, noon break. We've seen this at the at the very beginning levels of of uh, an adventure. You notice that that they will attack once, then they'll lay down and take a nap. Uh, but that also gives them a a, a a defense buff for two rounds. So self heal plus defense for two rounds. Get going to six star. Now remember, they already have lead, blue. Already has the leader skill of the hit point, uh, fifteen percent. His hit points go all the way up to five thousand one hundred and seventy, which is pretty good for a six star. And with my theory on how to enhance uh, with with the war patterns, that was so fast you can't even hardly read it. I I think you should enhance what's already good instead of going and trying to enhance the bad qualities. Just push the good qualities even further. 
Uh, the six star third awakening skill not enough. That's a self revive So as soon as it as soon as he dies he pops back up revives a 30% of his hit points or health points at the moment of defeat Moving on to the last the green cobalt also Starts at a two star and ends up at a six star ironically like the other cobalt the defense partner his, his main ability, he has the claw attack, but also the self heal. He does the inspire for, I believe, warrior. So that's a 20% boost if he survives at the end of the attack. Or the, at the end of the partner battle. Just to clarify one last time, the way this works now, and remember too, we have the dinos. That's going to also add some more statistics onto the battles. But let's exclude them for a minute. When you attack or defend against another player versus player, outpost versus outpost, first the partners battle each other. The outcome of that, whoever survives, if one partner survives or, or three survive, you take whatever their legion skills are and apply them to whichever army that it's supposed to be applied to. Sometimes they'll boost your own army, sometimes you'll boost or you'll, you'll nerf or you'll debuff the other uh, army. And that that gets applied and even though it all it happens so fast it all happens in the blink of an eye It, it all happens in a specific order the partners fa face each other first then the armies face each other So Going back to the skills we have the sharp claw as the first skill And it's the same as the other two based on the max hit point of cobalt also the second skill is noon break We've all seen this this is when he lays down and takes a nap right in the middle of the fight Ironically <laughs> Nice for the cat to take a break in the middle of the fight As a six star green has 5,947 and that's the basic hit points remember those can go those can go up if you have uh, Some hit point boosts in your war patterns Which that's what we're gonna have to focus on as far as the green cobalt goes at six star third awakening the last struggle is the third skill and last struggle is it deals damage based on its own lost hit points so when the green cobalt gets damaged it will turn around and damage the enemy equally to what it was damaged and if he ends up killing the enemy he immediately gets another another turn that might be a big deal I just can't tell because I don't think I'll ever have a six star cobalt Maybe I don't know <laughs> So war patterns and and honestly cobalt is in, is important at the lower levels I think that cobalt is one of those that you can bring to four star regularly it, He is strong enough to bring to four star. I've had red to go to four star many times um, But going on to the red for the six star and third awakening he has five thousand three hundred and fifty five hit points attacks at 400 speeds at a hundred I would suggest using all six hippo which is a 45% hit point increase and with the hippo use speed in the left hand hit point percentage on the helmet and on the right hand use hit percentage and the reason is is that he's a he's an offensive minded um, partner uh, the sh and but the sharp claw I, th I think I've already mentioned it it's based on its own max hit point anytime you have anything that's based on your partner's max hit points you want to get his hit points up as high as possible some people will even sacrifice the left hand speed for hit point percentage as well. That's going to be a judgment call on you. You're going to see that most of the time I'm going to suggest put left hand speed. And the reason why I do that is because of the competition way up in the top. Once you get up into the top end, everyone has speed. Every partner has got some speed on it. So I would suggest getting speed on all of your partners immediately, at least on the left hand, if not in the war pattern itself. Moving on to Blue Cobalt, at the 6 star, 3rd Awakening, he has 5,170 hit points. Defense is at 511, speed is at 102. We can, we can shift this around a little bit. You still want to get hit points, so 2 Hippo, I mean, I'm sorry, 4 Hippo, 2 Bull. That's a 30% increase on the, on the hit points for the 4 Hippo, 15% defense for the 2 Bull. And then left hand speed for the helmet, at, uh, hit point percentage, right hand defense percentage. And if you haven't caught this already, the, for the helmet in the right hand, you can switch that around. I think the game calls it left arm and right arm, by the way. And left leg and right leg. I call them foot and, and hands. 
probably wrong. So that was a little different. We we took away some of the hippo and added uh, an added bull to get some more defense. Now you see Green, his, his stats are a lot different. His hit points are high, but as far as the defense and attack, they're pretty low. So, not to down Green, but it's it's kind of hard for me to figure out a way to justify turning him into a 6 star. It will take a lot of resources to get him to 6 star. But, if you are going to, focus on the sharp claw attack. Uh, get as many... Get get him as high on hit points as possible. You can probably get his hit points with the bonus over 20,000 So you can keep him alive for a long time So if you don't have any other partners that that are tanky at all And you need someone that's going to survive and take a bunch of licks You can probably get green cobalt way up there to the 20 maybe 22,000 hit points. Maybe more. I don't, I don't know As far as the second through fifth attributes I decided to do these at the end of every one of these so because it's got a lot of repetition um, I believe that in all these two star partners that a lot of their success is going to depend on the second through fifth attributes Now if you've got a two star partner, that's a ringer That's that you know, you're going to keep that you know You're going to push ahead into the six star into the, into the third awakening I would suggest using all elite war patterns so you can see the second third and fourth attribute if you decide that you want to do that with Cobalt, do the same thing. Try to see that, make sure it has hit point percentage, attack percentage, hit percentage, defense percentage. Those are all really important. Really important for the cat. Appreciate everyone for watching. This is the last two stars. Moving on to the three stars. And you know how much I value the three stars. I believe every one of the three stars has a place in the game. If you could uh, get every one of them to the third awakening, uh, I'm going to try to figure out a way to do it myself. I'm going to try to show everyone else how to do it too. Hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate everyone for watching. Sub to the channel, guys. As always, at the end, we have some these two rascals. I'm getting obsessed with this. I gotta stop. <laughs> Till next time. It's been easy. Take care, everybody. It's delicious.